This is the article that you were referring to published in the Revista de Gestao Social y Ambiental, which is a Brazilian journal. It's, you know, I would say it's not a very widely read journal, um, but nonetheless, it is a peer-reviewed journal. And so it was very gratifying to see the information about these mummies um, printed in a peer-reviewed journal. Chris Lado, welcome to Lado Files. I get a lot of questions on what is going on with the Nazca mummies. And this is Dr. Richard O'Connor. He has an extensive background in both medicine and UFO research. He's on The Good Trouble Show with Matt Ford. Lengthy interview, link in the description, talking about a new peer-reviewed paper saying that the Nazca mummies are, in fact, legitimate extraterrestrial beings. Pretty amazing. O'Connor graduated from Baylor College of Medicine. He worked in general practice in Central Valley of California, focusing on migrant farm workers until he left and joined the medical staff at St. Peter's Hospital in Helena, Montana. That's where he worked closely with Dr. Jesse Marcel Jr., who was an ENT surgeon and a significant figure in the Roswell UFO incident. Dr. Marcel was a decorated American soldier serving in various capacities, including a helicopter pilot, the Montana National Guard, and a flight surgeon in Iraq. O'Connor founded the Jesse A. Marcel Library in 2011 to focus on the UFO phenomena. He became interested in UFO research through his connection to Jesse Marcel Jr., who was involved in the Roswell UFO crash. And now he's known for his commitment to investigating and promoting the truth about UFO phenomena. In this video, he talks about the Nazca mummies that are found in a cave near Nazca, Peru, known for the Nazca lions. The mummies have elongated skulls, no ear orifices, and features suggesting they are non-human. Carbon dating suggests the mummies are around 1,771 years old. September 2023, the two mummified bodies were presented at Mexico's Congress by Jaime Malson, claiming they were of non-human origin. I, I must admit, though, I did think the whole thing was a giant hoax, which is why I never covered it on the show. But it turns out that I was likely wrong. And today we have Dr. Richard O'Connor, medical doctor, MD, uh, to discuss the peer-reviewed paper that concludes that these mummies are actually not made of cake, but uh, they're rather real corpses of what appears to be extraterrestrial beings. I knew him for over 25 years. And, um, you know, I knew him well. Uh, and Having known him well, I can reassure everybody here that's listening and that Dr. Marcel's story of being involved in the Roswell um, UFO crash event and handling that material and closely inspecting it, holding it in his hands, uh, he and his father and his mother, uh, that all happened for sure. I, I just guarantee you that it happened because I, I knew the man well enough to know that he would never, ever have made up any of that story. Um, he just wasn't that kind of a person, you know. He was a an amazing physician and um, an American soldier, a patriot, a helicopter pilot for the Montana National Guard. At age 68, he went to Iraq and um, served there as a flight surgeon and a helicopter pilot. And uh, he was actually even on in the in the Navy early early uh, in his life and uh, was blackening his face on board a ship during the Cuban Missile Crisis ready to invade Cuba. Wow. So, um, you know, this man, people don't, they don't realize all the things that he did in his life and just what a, an excellent person he was. So um, I've known since I met him in 1988 that we're not alone uh, on this planet. You just see Marcel Jr. He's an amazing person. You've seen the interviews with his father. He was the first one on the scene at Roswell. And Marcel Jr., he's been a ENT surgeon and volunteer military. He's been saying it for many decades that we're not alone, and it actually happened. Roswell crush was real, so quite compelling. Let's get to a section now on the actual peer-reviewed paper. They're, they're quite beautiful uh, little creatures. 
And, you know, on the right, this is what they look like when, when they die under the microscope. They're very complex uh, little shells that we see, sort of reminiscent of seashells, uh, but in a very fine powder. And so that's, what, that's why these Nazca mummies look so, um, so white. This is the article that you were referring to published in the Revista de Gestao Social y Ambiental, which is a Brazilian journal. It's, you know, I would say it's not a very widely read journal, um, but nonetheless, it is a peer-reviewed journal. And so it was very gratifying to see the information about these mummies um, printed in a peer-reviewed journal. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going through the details of this article. Um, people can look it up and read it for themselves. But, you know, basically what they found was that uh, this one mummy that they call Maria has an elongated skull. And in the CT scans, they don't see any evidence of skull binding, which has been one of the big arguments that we've heard over and over again about why the Paracas skulls must have these elongated skulls. Um, well, in this particular uh, case, there is no evidence whatsoever. You don't see any rings in the in the bony um, calvarium, you know, the the uh, or the skull. You don't see any um, any evidence of binding. There were no no hair on this um, Nazca mummy they call Maria. No uh, ear oracles. Uh, Maria has a cranial volume of that's thirty percent greater than humans. Um, in the paper, they say that she has, uh, four phalanges in the hands and in the feet. Um, you know, we, we could call them four phalanges and four meta metacarpals and metatarsals, or in my way of looking at them, they have five phalanges because they don't seem to have a palm. They're the, the proximal phalange or, you know, the first one just seems to, to come right out of the, um, carpal carpal bones as, and as more like a finger. In other words, the webbing on their, they don't have the, the palm. It starts, the separation of their digits starts way down here, not up here, like in humans. And, um, in the carbon 14 dating of this Nazca mummy, they dated her at around 1771, uh, years ago, which would have been 253, uh, in the common era. Okay, well, this is great news. I interviewed Leslie Kane. What did she think about it? And she said it needs more scientific review. It's a, she said American scientists actually looking at it. But this is at least a start, right? Okay, we'll just go through the abstract for the paper. This is actually it. Link is in the description if you want to read the whole thing. But it's called the Biometric Morpho-Anatomical Characterization and Dating of the antiquity of a tridactyl humanoid specimen regarding the case of Nazca, Peru. So the objective report the bioarchaeological case and perform the morpho-anatomical biometric characterization and dating of the antiquity of a tridactyl humanoid specimen found in Nazca, Peru. How did they do it? They did a qualitative approach study of a bioarchaeological case report of a tridactyl humanoid specimen the imaging analysis applied the Radiant DICOM viewer software version 2024.1 and the age dating technique used radiocarbon 14. All right, results in discussion. Tomographic imaging analysis showed that the specimen is a desiccated humanoid body with a biological architecture similar to that of a human, but with many morphological and anatomical structural differences such as the lack of hair and ears, an elongated skull, and an increase in cranial volume, 30% greater than humans. Maxillary and mandibular protrusion, as well as protrusion of the eyeballs, absence of the fifth lumbar vertebrae, tridactyl in both hands and feet, in addition to different foci of arthropathies. Wow, interesting. Dactyl is a condition of having three digits on a limb, such as three fingers on a hand, three toes on a foot. So this, this condition can be observed in humans, it's in various species, animals, and even some mythological or fictional creatures. 
in a context of the Nazca mummies discussed by Dr. O'Connor, tridactyl refers to the observed anatomical feature where the mummies possess three fingers on their hands and three toes on their feet. Carbon-14 dating analysis of the specimen gave an age of 1771 plus or minus 30 years, corresponding to 240 to 383 AD. Implications of the research, if it is demonstrated with further studies that this is a new humanoid species, it would have a strong impact on biology and science and scientific, historical, and socio-cultural implications. I would say it definitely would. They also put in originality and value, so the sui generis theme and the implied scientific methodology of this study grant originality and value is given by the significance of the revealed findings, which ipso facto reveal the non-human humanoid biological existence. Ipso facto is a Latin phrase that means by the fact itself. So it indicates that something is true by its very nature or as a direct consequence of the fact in question. So basically it proves, it reveals non-human, humanoid, biological existence. Very interesting. And yeah, this is what this needed. Like Leslie Kane said, needed more scientific study. And it shows here, if it is demonstrated with further studies, that this is a new humanoid species, which would still be amazing, or if it's extraterrestrial, even more amazing, it would have a strong impact on biology, science, and scientific, historical, sociocultural implications for sure. Okay, the mummies still are very controversial. This is from a U.S. news article by Reuters, January 12, 2024. Scientists assert alien mummies in Peru are really dolls made from earthly bones. So scientists have come out on both sides, it appears. A pair of alien mummies that mysteriously turned up at the airport in Peru's capital last October have entirely earthly origins, according to a scientific analysis revealed in January. This is by Marco Aquino. Two small specimens were described as humanoid dolls by experts at a press conference in Lima and likely fashioned from both human and animal parts. A separate three-fingered hand, believed to be from Peru's Nazca region, was also analyzed, with experts ruling out any connection to alien life. They're not extraterrestrials, said Flavio Estrada, an archaeologist for Peru's Institute for Legal Medicine and Forensic Science. Their dolls, made from animal bones from this planet, joined together with modern synthetic glue. The totally made-up story, Estrada added. The two figurines turned up in the Lima Airport offices of Courier DHL in a cardboard box and were made to look like mummified bodies dressed in traditional Andean attire. Some media outlets subsequently speculated about possible alien origin. Last September 2023, two tiny mummified bodies with elongated heads and hands Three fingers were featured at a Mexican congressional hearing, generating widespread media coverage. Mexican journalist and UFO enthusiast Jaime Maussan claimed those bodies were about a thousand years old and recovered from Peru in 2017, but not related to any known species. According to Reuters, most experts later dismissed them as fraud, possibly mutilated ancient human mummies combined with animal parts, but certainly from Earth. At the Lima press conference, in January 2024, which was organized by Peru's culture ministry, experts did not say that the dolls found in a DHL office were related to the bodies presented in Mexico. But they also stressed that the remains in Mexico are also not extraterrestrial. So controversial story. Now we have a peer-reviewed study saying that they are extraterrestrials. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. It really helps and it's free. Consider subscribing to get future notifications of when I release videos. And you might like this video recommended by YouTube just for you. If you want to support the channel, join these great people over here. Get exclusive bonus content. Then click this button here, patreon.com forward slash Chris Lato, or become a YouTube member. If you want to continue the discussion, go to UAP Society Discord. Links are all in the description. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.